Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eileen, and today we're going to do an unboxing of Rene of Paris Safi from their Alexander Couture collection in Creamy Toffee Rooted. Uh, the wig I have on today is my Eileen wig from the Wig Studio One push line of human hair. Uh, I have several videos on this wig on my channel, or if you want to know more about it, you can of course see it at wigstudio1.com. And I'd like to thank Andrea at Wig Studio One for sending me Safi to review for you today. So if you'd like to to see more about it just keep watching okay let's have a look at Renee Paris Safi and creamy toffee rooted okay right out of the box it's a beautiful purple box packaged with their tissue paper that says Alexander collection okay that's how she looks I love creamy toffee rooted it's one of my very favorite colors from Renee Paris Okay, netting. Let's see. It's got some curl. All right. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Very first thing I can see is keeping on trend of what we've been seeing lately is it's got a little more volume at the bottom. It's angled. Law. Just loose waves pretty okay we'll look at the cap of course more later okay it has a left part and a lace front it's open wefted it's cute okay i'm going to try this on and let you see how it looks right out of the box okay so let's take a look at Sophie right out of the box okay she is a good fit first thing i can tell is she fits I could probably take this up a little, I would think. It's a little large on me. I have a 21 and a quarter inch circumference. Okay, first thing I'm going to tell you is I'm going to have to play with this to get it off my face a bit. Yeah, that'll be the first thing I'll do. I will run some water through it. As you know, that's the first thing I always do is I run a little water through my wigs to see Give it a little texture. Give it a little separation. I like that. Yes, and like I said, it has this volume on the bottom. We're seeing that, and I've reviewed several weeks lately that has that. It has a little shine. I'm going to put some dry shampoo on it to take that shine down. Okay, I'm going to go and play with it a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, the style of Safi. To me, this is just a wavy, bouncy style bob with these heavier curls right on the end. More volume on the ends, right on trend. We're seeing it all the time. Now, what I have done to this wig, I used a little dry shampoo to take the shine down. You could steam this. I did not, but you could. I just did some John Renault hairspray right at the root, held it back just a little bit, and brought it up and off my face just a hair but i think this uh little wig you could easily steam this and you have such a beautiful lace front why not yeah i'd steam it up and off my face i think but i like these little bobs these and these little waves at the bottom let me show you the back It is angled, like I said, shorter in the back. It only has a four inch nape. Then it comes down a little longer. I'm not trying to tame this into something it's not. This is exactly what it's supposed to be. Just deconstructed waves, kind of a shattered bob, shattered waves, and just swingy and fun. Okay, let's have a look at this color, creamy toffee rooted. Okay, let's talk about Creamy Toffee Rooted. So it is actually one of my favorite colors. I like, I, my first wig was Creamy Toffee Rooted and I've always loved it. So it's a darker root. It's a blended shade of light platinum blonde and light honey blonde. This root is a medium root to me. It's not overdone in any way. It's not 
terribly dark at all. I think it is a very nice color that blends well. There is definitely a gold undertone to this wig. So just so you know that. But it is a blended, a beautifully blended shade. Okay, the cap for Safi. It has a beautiful lace front into a left mono part. There is a small, small amount of permatease, and I'm talking very small. You hardly know that it is there. I like it. No seam. Ear tabs. Notice how they have the hair sewn up into the ear tabs. That's great for coverage. Closed ear tabs. Non-extended nape with the pull adjusters. Open wefted. Very nice. Let me let you have a look again at Creamy Toffee Rooted. Again, a blended shade with the light platinum blonde and the light honey blonde. And like I said, with a medium brown root and some gold undertones here. All right, let's talk about the specs for Safi. The fringe is 10.2, it's nice and long. Crown, 9.8, nape, 2.4, and it weighs 3.52 ounces. It's light. I, I just think this is so on trend with these bouncy, bouncy waves right on the end to give you that little volume. It's nice. Face framing layers, it's down long enough. Like I said, 10.2, so it comes down nice. I don't even think you really, if I was going to use anything, of course, I'd use a wide tooth comb. But for this one, I think you just want to get these finger waves. I don't, like I said, I wouldn't try to make this do something it's not, it's not supposed to. This is just what it's supposed to be. Bouncy waves, messier the better. Get your hands in there. Really mess it up. Like I said earlier, you can definitely steam this off your face if you would like. And it has enough length that I think it has some fun styling options. Let's have a look at that. Okay, that's my review of Renee of Paris Safi and Creamy Toffee Rooted. It's part of the Alexander Couture Collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I have Wig to Toe Wednesday. Every Wednesday I throw a wig on, show you my outfit of the day all in 30 seconds. So be sure to join me on Instagram at Crazy Wig Lady. Thank you again and don't forget we're all in this together. <laughs>